Hello, welcome back to Distant Worlds 2. We are continuing our playthrough here as the Gazurians. And I am a little worried that we are kind of off on the wrong foot. I definitely feel like I'm getting pinched in here. Unless we could escape out through here. These guys are getting a little, a little strong. I think if I'm going to attack anybody, it's probably these yellow guys. I'm not exactly sure. Like, they might stretch all the way back here. I have no idea, but... I feel like of the of all of them that might be my best bet i could also go after these guys but that puts me right next to these uh these orange guys that already declared war on me and did a, a good amount of damage took over one of my planets so i think i like having that buffer there at least for now so let's go ahead and look at what we got going on on our fleets here so this is a troop fleet and these guys are set to repair I do feel like these guys are not, um, well, they're out of fuel, which is the first problem. But the second problem is I, I just don't feel like they're doing, um, the right thing when I'm telling them to capture. They're, I don't feel like they're actually capturing. All right, well, these pirates are, let them beat each other up. That's fine by me. I do want to start getting some of my, um, some of my troops onto this fleet. All right, well, any any sort of mining base I definitely want to build. Anything that's going to help us with our growth. Go ahead and load troops. Definitely not enough, but we need about double that. Okay, so that troop strength is only 2,300. Is that going to be enough to take out a planet like this? I feel like the answer is probably no. No, their defense strength is way more than that. All right, we are growing all right. Let's take a look at the colony screen and see if there's any new colonies that are suitability-wise. Nope, there's nothing. Well, let's just keep trying to expand as much as we can. Ooh, there's Hive over here. Well, that reminds me. There, there was Hive bugging us over here. Maybe they're not bothering us anymore. I'm not sure. How are these guys all the way out there? I feel like that's a pretty far distance. Our fleet is still pretty damaged. And a little bit low on fuel. Well, let's be honest. It's it's a lot a bit low on fuel. Um, what are our fuel tankers? You know what? Let, let me flip that guy back to fully automate. I don't know what he was doing. But looks like they're filling up on fuel and heading back here to, to refuel everyone. Which is probably the better thing to do. So we'll let that do its thing. Now you already have fuel and you're there at that system. So there we go. All right, he, he's filling up all the, filling up all the ships. How's the exploration going? We got 21 ships flying around. They got a decent range. That's their capital right there, so that can't be too good for them. How's construction ships doing? We have 13. All of them are doing something. Mostly it looks like they're trying to build bases. Ah, that fleet's actually weaker than ours. That's a little surprising. Oh, another independent colony. I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and queue up some more construction ships and exploration ships. I feel like those are pretty good investments overall, especially early in the game like this. Well, relatively early in the game. The more, that it can, the more we explore, the more we can construct. The more we can construct, the more we can send back to the planets. The more we send back to the planets, the better off we're going to be. Hoping new hyperdrive tech... Coming up relatively soon. Might, uh, we could retrofit all the ships. They'll move faster. That should help just overall speed things up. I was really hoping we would have done a little more with the pirates and leapfrog down the tech a little bit. All right, let's say repair. Uh, the problem is if they fly away too quick. All right, it looks like we fixed up pretty decent. All right, we got a lot, lot more base building to do. Yeah, building those construction ships was a good idea. There's a lot more requests for base to be built coming in now. It is kind of nice <laughs> having the, the hive harass somebody else for once. I feel like I got the brunt of that last time around. 
Let 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 these guys deal with the hive for once. It looks like we're mostly refueled. Not completely, but mostly. This guy's limping along. All right, here we are. Oh, is there any chance of capturing any of these ships? Did we not capture? So, I'm very confused as to why Oh, assault strike available now, so we must have some some that are already down. All right, well, we got the new hyperdrive tech, so that's perfect. Let's go ahead and... That's seven years, that's a long time. We don't really have much of a choice, but... I kind of feel like improved colonization needs to be in the cards. Coordinated docking would help speed things up economically. Yeah, we do have a blade of energy shields already. That's not too bad. Vision mastery, that's a little bit off, but I'm going to go ahead and add it to the queue. All right, let's go ahead and just retrofit our ships real quick. We want to make sure that we have all these designs. Well, the bomber, I really don't think I need to add much new. Laser cannon's probably not the right fit for that. Do particle beam. There's the our, our friendly gear axe hyperdrive. That's what we want to see on everything. Hopefully, this doesn't cause too many size issues get better better shields on everything too uh oh all right we got our first casualty from uh size constraints all right what are we gonna do here i guess we'll get rid of the ion cannon these guys definitely need to be upgraded um the hyperdrive is really important for them actually this better hyperdrive is really important for pretty much everything all right, we still got basic fighter. I think I'm going to switch this out. Particle beam, large mining ships. All these need to be upgraded. I'm just going to do the upgrades. I'm not really going to spend too much time digging through this. I think the shields are upgraded too, so I kind of want to upgrade the bases as well. I should probably check if the, um, the lasers are actually better. It's too big. We're going to take that off. All right, small space port. We do have some PD on here, which is good. All right, troop transport also has to be upgraded. Just got to take the laser cannon off. They're not even meant for fighting. All right, is that us taking them over? It is. So, can I capture this one, too? There we go. That's what I like to see. Alright, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to see more of. More, uh, more capturing. Oh. We actually did not capture that. Oh, we did capture that one, though. Okay. Perfect. This is good. Where are you guys going? All right, so the good news is we are breaking down that ship. So we got a couple retire retired ships coming in. And as I break those down, that should result in some new tech coming in. Because ion sheath armor is something we don't have. I think these vector engines, some of this other stuff will be all upgrades. Where are you guys jumping to? Don't do that. What are you doing? Oh, you're coming over here to try to defend this. I see. All right, well, let's try to do a capture here. Good 
feel like these guys are taking a little too much damage for my liking. Uh, let's try to get out of here. I need to retrofit these ships anyway. Alright, so we are officially breaking that stuff down. There we go. So somehow we got improved colonization, or made progress towards improved colonization, by disassembling a frigate. I don't really understand that, but that's all right. Uh, that is really expensive. So I'm going to decline that for now, but it is something I'm open to revisiting later on. Okay, so what we want to do is try to capture this if we can. Okay, there we go. All right, I think this puts it firmly in our hands. And we're going to retire that one too. Not everything will be bored and captured, but at least we're doing a lot more than we were. There we go, medium high fighters. Oh, we actually got it. Wow, that that leapfrog that tech really unless I'm missing something, but I, I think it made quick progress. But we actually got improved colonization. That's incredible. So we definitely need to do more of this. All right, medium high fighters. We got to upgrade all these fighter ships now. All right, I'll leave the rest of this stuff for the time being. I like the. I feel like the bigger ships give more tech, so I like to take those if I can. I could. I could be wrong in that, but. All right, as soon as this guy can move, we will uh, send him back. There we go. Enhanced engines. All right, they are under. There we go. All right, I think that one will, will actually win out in the long run. I don't know where that's going to end up, but... Oh, this guy's coming right to us. Let's try to capture him. All right, is this guy being repaired? Let's have him limp along. That's one of our guys. All right, where's this at? So we did end up taking that. We'll send him to retire. We'll send him to retire. Try to do another capture if we can. Coordinated docking. I'm telling you, this is pretty great. I really like the stealing all these techs. Alright, where's this other ship? It's a pretty beefy one. Try to do another capture if we can. We're getting a little beat up. We should probably build some troops on this planet, I would think would be a good idea. Seeing as we're constantly being attacked and raided. All right, Reckless Mayhem has been captured. You can come back over here, add you to the pile of ships being retired. Actually, isn't that uh, that big of a list these days? Let's try to do some repairs if we can. No terraforming. Too much, too expensive. There we go. Enhanced interlaced armor. I'm really liking this uh, special ability we got here. That's our special tech. It's not even somebody else's tech. That's amazing. Okay, so now we definitely have to retrofit our ships yet again. Uh, although I need to build new bombers. Right? I need a light bomber. Let's do bomber L1 if I could type. And let's retrofit hire this guy and then let's add a new do we even have a heavy escort i think we have a regular escort um fighter okay so the light attack fighter is our well the it, 
the interceptors got more countermeasures and more maneuvering. A little smaller max size and hull size, but probably still the better route to go. All right, we'll do that. Then we can retire this old fighter. That's going to be a pretty sizable upgrade given that our species relies heavily on carriers and all that good stuff. And then for now, do I have, I just have regular destroyers. All right, for now, I think I just want to focus on the military ships. Row, row. Well, I can't redo that one yet. Is this even upgrading it? No, it's a V2 upgrade, so it's in place. So my understanding of the way this works is that version 2 upgrades, right? This goes from hex armor to hex armor V2. The V2, V3, V4 is an in-place upgrade. So I don't have to actually upgrade any of my ships that have that armor because they will just already have that. Yep, V2. So everybody just got a automatic upgrade. Let's uh, let's try to retrofit some of our ships if we can. So that might be a little challenging here. We're going to try. Fuel is a uh, a big problem. Can I tra yeah, I could transfer fuel to the spaceport. Not as a resource, though. Interesting. All right, we have not finished breaking down these ships yet. I think we kind of got to wait for that to happen. Uh, is there any fission mastery? Okay. It kind of sucks because I was already researching that, but that is okay. These are a lot of years to research this stuff. Let's do defense tactics because that seems like something that wouldn't be uh, too difficult. We're getting little bits and pieces of a bunch of different techs. Let's do faster mining. I feel like maybe focusing on the economy and, you know, I guess kind of more importantly, some cheap techs uh, that are only like a couple years. Just help move us, move us forward a little bit. Let's take another look at that new colony screen. Still nothing like worthwhile. Now these guys, they're neutral with us. They're not that far away. I could start and I do want to absorb these guys. So let's send a gift, send a large gift and then offer a limited treaty. And we'll just start working our way up with these guys and then maybe we can get that and then swing back around here, take over these couple planets. We'll kind of have to play it by ear and see how that goes, though. I, I still I feel like I've spent the whole episode just kind of getting more pigeonholed in where I'm at. But at the same time, I do feel like my fleets are starting to get a little bit better. My tech's getting better um, by a fair amount, in my opinion. All right, a lot of retrofitting going on. Big, big Q backed up. Starting to go positive. Will you guys stop with this raiding crap? The getting more of these shields would be nice. Novacore reactor. This is better than what I have right now. What's going on over here? Hyperdrive offline. I want the big ships. You're the one I want. All right, they blew up one of my ships, which is never a good thing. All right, well, something, something's got to give here. I, I imagine at some point we got to capture something. All right, so Ambassadors, Dashik. All right, let's take a look at our Ambassadors. Okay, this guy's got Inspiring Presence. This guy's Trusting, which I guess gives better colony happiness. Although Inspiring Presence could be good with a lot of these people being in the same spot. So I actually think I'm going to keep him. So I actually... I also have not spent any time spying this episode, which is probably a bad idea. Uh, um, I think Kuristal Corporation is who I was stealing from. There's really not much left I can steal, though. Restore Gazirian Hive Mind. I don't know about that. I'm going to click through and see who has at least a decent percentage chance. 
Red Moon Corsairs. Looks like you're our new favorite target for the time being. All still pretty bad, but I don't know. Maybe I can get something. We'll see. Okay. So now we got this guy back here. Right, he's he's jumping, but we I don't know if we actually won, but let's go repair our ships if we can. Efficient energy conversion. Alright, well we are starting to get cash positive again, which is good. Part of that I think is population growth, but part of it is just our ships getting destroyed. Let's go ahead and do another spy mission. I don't think any of these have a very high Probability of success, but we can go ahead and try anyway. This guy's hyperdrive is offline. Fast mining. That's all of our research techs. So it, it looks like it doesn't even matter as long as we're researching something. It's going to put effort towards finding it, which is pretty nifty. I don't think st structured research affects that at all. Let's do enhance the energy collection just so we can get that. Banded troop transports would be kind of nice. We could add these to the queue just because I think if the racial ability works the way that I think it does, where you're br whatever tech you're actively researching when you when you break down a ship it has a chance of triggering um an advancement i'd kind of like to do more expensive techs or more valuable techs depending on how you look at it All right, so we got fission mastery i guess let's go for the enhanced shields for now i can't actually get any better hyperdrive at the moment this is as good as it gets for the time being Hopefully we try to capture this guy. There we go. Okay, no terraforming facility. Thank you very much. All right. I definitely want to get one of these bigger ships if I can. Don't really care which one it is. But I do want to get one. We are losing ships, which is not great. All right, I keep changing my changing my mind, changing my target. We must be low on uh, actual like pods to. Oh boy. Well, this isn't good. Let's uh, let's try to go. Uh oh. All right. Let's uh, let's not do that. They are really coming hard at us. We are in a bit of a pickle here. Uh, let's try to capture it. I feel like we're out of juice right now. And we don't have a ton of boarding strength. All right, well, let's try to capture this one. All right, we definitely have to build more ships because our fleets are getting 
pretty demolished over here, but that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and I think the escorts are just too weak at this point. Go ahead and purchase all those. I think what we'll do is look at all ships that are not in a fleet. Oh, we got one of these boys over here. Well, we might as well fly it over here and break it down. I don't know why they're still over here. All right, let's retire that guy over here. And then all of these guys, we are just going to add that to the first fleet. And that should be perfectly fine. We got to reinforce that fleet. It's getting pretty, pretty beat up. All right, let's let's uh let's get back over by our base. I think we're getting a little little overextended here. Although I think some of these are being built right here. All right, so those guys are getting pinched in here, so they really are that small. Or at least it appears that they're that small. So we definitely want to probably take them over. I don't know what, what's going on with these guys. Where, what are these guys? That must be somebody else taking these guys over. Not really sure. Let's go ahead and look at this planet over here. So we're plus four. I think we could send another large gift. Oh, improved relations by one. Are you kidding me? By one? All right, well, that's not getting better. Well, that's just a waste of money. All right, enhanced energy collection. That was a tech we were researching. And now we were able to make some progress on it by breaking down a ship. That's pretty awesome. So that does tell me it's working. At least I think it's working the way I think it's working. Um... Hopefully, we'll still be working on some pretty good techs at that point. We are expanding, like, we're not gaining any more planets, and our population is getting a little stagnant, but we we definitely are growing. All right, uh, check out our ambassadors again. So, Rugar, you ain't nothing, man. Dashik's our boy. He's winning. What, what did that give him? Free trader? Yeah, look at that inspiring presence he's gaining just by being there. Pretty awesome. All right, what's our fleet power looking like? I know we're still losing some ships. I feel like in some... You know, I'm just building this thing. I'm tired of them prompting me. I feel like we're still getting, like, super harassed over here. Yeah, we are. We have a fair amount of troops on this planet, though. We just lost a bunch of ships. All right, I do want to start taking these guys over though. I need to. I need to expand. We actually don't know how powerful these guys are or are not. What we can do though is retrofit these guys. So let's go ahead and do that. We must have lost some because we had more space and more fighters. All right, I feel like this is quite unfortunate. We we just keep getting harassed at this station. This is not what I want to be happening. I'm going to tell them to set this as their home base and guard it. And maybe they will make their way back over here. I don't know why anybody's over here. Ah, you were trying to get your... I see what you're doing. All right, those mining facilities are very expensive. Or terraforming facilities, super expensive. I don't actually know if we're able to do anything about these guys. We're just sitting here. We're not, um, we're just sitting here getting destroyed. All right, I feel like we are very inadequate. I need bigger spaceports. These guys are wrecking me. I mean, I probably should just pay to, like, be their friend or whatever. But I was getting some good tech out of them for a while. By breaking down their ships. 
But they're uh, they're putting up a fight now, and I don't like it. Yeah, our our ship strength is like one seventy two. Theirs is like a thousand. But man, would it be nice to steal some of this tech velocity drive Nova Core reactor? Come on, get the good stuff. Alright, well, I'm just going to build this. I'm losing all my ships anyway. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's not in my best interest to try to hunker down around this planet right now. We've lost like 30 ships. I feel like maybe we come over here, hang out over by this base. And then I also think we should probably build more ships again, but probably build them down here. All right, let's queue some ships up there. We'll rejoin them to the first fleet. Oh, are you just not, not doing that? Oh, that was interesting. I had to click off of it and click back on it. All right, we'll join you to the first fleet. All right, let's scrap that facility. That's fine. That'll free up some cash. All right, expanded troop transports. That's a better troop transport tech. That means I could probably retrofit these guys a little bit. All right, we're 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 leaving Helmet. That's not working out too well for us. Oh, boy. So these guys are getting eaten up. Right, they're trying to defend themselves. But I think they are losing, or at least they're getting beaten up pretty bad by these guys. So... I don't know. Let them duke it out. These guys grew to four systems now. Oh, there's a red guy over here. He took over some of that. So, All right. At some point, I got to make a move. I can't just uh, can't just hang around here fighting pirates. I need to expand in a meaningful way. Otherwise, I'm just going to get locked in and not going to make any meaningful progress. All right. Well, I think we will call it an episode there. I'm going to go ahead and try to consolidate my fleet to one spot where it's not constantly being raided by pirates, which are more powerful than me. Uh, and then I think what I'll do is I'll just try to, I don't know, steal, steal some pirate tech where I can and just keep trying to make some progress here. I do want to go after these yellow guys. I, I do feel like overall they're weak and they're getting locked in here. And I feel like there's, there's an opportunity here to take advantage of that. So I'm kind of keen on that. I do have to kind of watch my flank. I'm not going to mess with these brown guys yet. I'm kind of hoping I feel like they might be fighting with these guys. Let's just check that out real quick. Uh, what is this? United Talos group. They are... Yeah, everybody hates them. They're they're actually at war with the Curistel Corporation. So these two guys are fighting as well as these guys. So if they're distracted by that, that could actually be a good thing for me. Maybe I could swing down over in this area after I mop up some of this. Yeah, there's a lot of options. I think we just kind of have to weigh what, what's going to be best for us, and uh, we'll make our move hopefully next episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel see more content in the future. We'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.